All right, do your building skills stack up like these? There's one way to find out by taking the paper tower challenge at the Imagination Station. Now here to preview the event is Carl Nelson. Carl, what is going on with these paper towels <laughs> in, or paper towers yep. that uh, students are going to be building this weekend at the Imagination Station? Exactly. You guys were talking earlier about uh, kids going back to school, right? And we have an event that sort of can kind of help kickstart that in terms of engineering and thinking about how to build and construct things. And so the challenge is using only newspaper, masking tape, maybe some scotch tape, uh, build a paper tower that is at least 18 inches tall and can support a baseball. Okay, so you got to right. get some structural support on this one. So the use of my stapler, my super glue, that's all out of the equation because that's why I'd be kind of storing in my pocket. And... Exactly. We might allow the stapler to go in there, but basically it's paper and okay. uh, masking tape. And then the challenge is to get it to support a baseball. Now this one, eh, not so much. It depends, so on, uh, depends on the, the delicate balance right there. Exactly. It's not okay. quite stable enough. Yep. Now this guy right here, that one, that one's going to pass the first part of the challenge, okay? Because okay? I forgot to tell you, the second part of the challenge is not only does it have to stand up, not only does it need to be 18 inches tall, okay. it, also, a twist to this? it also needs to <laughs> support itself in the wind of a fan, all, all right. right? And so if we turn the fan on here and let's see what happens, I'm going to guess that this guy is pretty stable. It's looking pretty good. Now, I have to tell you, this is not the fan we use for the challenge. We've got one of those massive four foot industrial fans. Is this the one that you guys, uh, you, the, the hurricane simulator that you guys had? That'd be really cool. Get the hurricane simulator out here. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. But that'd be really hard, I think, yeah. to actually get one of these guys yeah. to withstand uh, 155 mile per hour winds. But nonetheless, it's a really, it's a fun challenge for families. Okay. Get the families to come down and hopefully the parents will kind of be the junior engineers and okay. let the kids sort of drive the experience. The idea basically, you know, with back to school right around the corner is to sort of get the kids thinking about, uh, this is a, a basically a, a practice in, in engineering and structural stability and gets the kids sort of thinking about a little bit about physics too. Exactly. And you know, the other thing too, there's yet another layer to this onion of the challenge is that the tower that is the lightest that holds the baseball, that withstands the wind, okay. will actually uh, actually get a prize. Now, this tower is actually quite surprising because the one I made with reinforced steel rebar. No, no, this guy. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is only made with one sheet of paper as the round, a little reinforcement at the top and bottom, and one sheet of paper at the okay. top. Now, I'll let you kind of grab that. It's already getting blown I over by the, <laughs> the, that's by the, the wind. That's the tricky part of the whole challenge. You okay. need to set it up, add a little weight at the top, and I believe the weight. In this case, we'll crush it. Yeah. But in some cases, the, the and we tested it, this if back. If you at, get the paper just yeah, right, yeah, it will actually uh, get a little bit more rigid. Okay. And hold itself up, and it's not going to cooperate today. It's the sports page. That's but why. What's cool about this, though, and this is this is something else we're trying to stress. If it doesn't work the first time, go ahead and make some modifications okay. to it because give it a try again. That's the whole engineering process. You think about it, you build it. Uh, you test it, and then if it doesn't work, you do it again. You make some modifications. And that's what we're going to encourage people to do when they come down. Sounds and so, good. lightest tower that supports the baseball, 18 inches tall, in front of the fan, wins. You guys are also going to be busy, too. You guys got uh, Bodies Revealed, which is still in Imagination Station, a, a, a fantastic exhibit that uh, people could come down and see as well. Until September 18th. So you got about 30 days to come down and check it out. Ah, sounds good. All right, Carl, thanks so much for uh, being in here again. This event's going on this weekend. This, this Saturday. This Saturday at the Imagination Station, so people could kind of yep. join in and uh, have some fun with that. And I don't know, mine would probably, I don't know <laughs> if it could quite stand up to that. Maybe I'd use it for a hat. That'd be a little bit Perhaps. better for me. Carl, thanks so much. No problem. All right.